2002 Mastercraft X7. Sitting on a Mastercraft single axle trailer. X7, we have a ballast bag in this. We have the tower, bimini, board racks, uh, tower speakers. It is a very, very nice, clean uh, O2 X7. Little, little stuff on the exterior. Vinyl on the interior is pretty good. Some spots I'm gonna show uh, that are pretty typical um, wear spots on this vinyl, but uh, overall really good condition. So just starting back here at the rear transom. A little bit of in that yellow, and it might be a little hard to tell, but you can see a little bit of just small fading right there. I'm gonna try and nitpick this the absolute best I can um, and hope not to miss anything. <clears throat> On the trailer, these are fiberglass trailer fenders. Uh, so instead of uh, denting, they just uh, they chip away or they, they crack. Um, so that's the back right of the right fender. Come down the starboard side. A small little nick right here. Uh, gel coat or the uh, in the gel coat, and then you got a little scratch in the decal. We haven't touched those, especially that. That's more important than the decal. But that right there, we haven't touched just because um, it's not detrimental to the boat. And trying to match a yellow uh, is going to look worse than what that actually is right there. So. We decided to leave that. Some more scuffs in the graphic docking side. Does have a spare tire, swing away tongue. Rubber rail's in good condition. Just got a little build up that actually will come off. I don't know what that is, but it's a probably from the detail. Something just stayed on. So get that cleaned off. Go down this port side. If I can get the light not to mess with the camera too much, but I'm gonna stay back just a little bit because there's nothing really to show. Uh, you got a little graphic thing right there. Or peeled away. Fender on the side's good. It's a little faded. Um, but that happens with fiberglass uh, fenders like that. So they, they take the abuse, they're in the sun all the time. Teak platform. Transom tie downs, just ratchet straps, or not even ratchet straps, just uh, uh, flip up straps, keep it nice and tight, keep it from bouncing left and right on the trailer. Have some, uh, have some little rust spots uh not even rust just the paint's gone and uh you get the surface stuff going on a metal trailer uh not atypical um, is a removable platform you can see the pins right there Let's see if I can get in here. but this will slide out uh what these hooks are underneath not real sure they don't know anything about those uh but we obviously did not remove them, so I don't know if they were there or if somebody had those on there to hang the platform in a garage. Not real sure what the purpose of that is, but my guess is that it's not a factory install. Small little missing pieces from the uh, um, the teak right there. Looks like whoever did it then then sealed it back up or uh, teaked it back over, cleaned it up. And and uh, took care of it so that it wouldn't cause any issues down the road. Like I said, vinyl on the interior, just pop my shoes off real quick. Vinyl on the interior is really good condition. Uh, back hatch, uh, you don't have any ribs or anything in the seams. Um, not 100% sure if that's been reskinned re at any point in time, but it is, it's got a lot of life to it and the, the seams are good. There's no cr cracks or splits in that. Now flip these up. This is your ski. Ooh, somebody may have just gotten sick watching that video. You do have gas shocks to hold up. Ski locate or ski placement back here, uh, or anything else you're looking to to store. Just 
drop in looking straight down we'll get back to the vinyl but looking straight down underneath the bench you actually have that ballast bag um, I have had the boat on the water I have thrown a surf paddle on the side filled that ballast up had people sit in the corner and it did produce a pretty good little surf wave uh, you could probably enhance it a little bit more with maybe some lead weight or some more weight down the whatever side you're actually surfing uh, but it did show up and riding with a longboard uh, people were able to grab the surf wave and go so uh, not the biggest in the world but it is doable it is doable so it is a little bit more multifunction than um, than you would expect not just have to be a straight ski boat on the gel right here I forgot to this part uh, I was looking at the exterior only um, not real sure what got into this it almost could be like a fin but it's very light uh, you can you can hear it <clears throat> it is a little spot right here they're not <clears throat> they're surface scratches and then uh, there's actually a little cut in the, <coughs> the rubber rail right there so whatever it did it came in looks like that's all one one location right there so got a small little nick in the armrest on the starboard side right there on the back side but even the back bench doesn't have the rips in the vinyl <clears throat> and that's why it kind of makes me wonder if this has been reskinned at some point in time because the boat does have 560 hours on it and these are typical uh, stress points on the vinyl they'll they'll get and I'll show you some on the the bench up here but if they did revinyl it it is in great great condition uh, they did a great job on doing it and uh, looks fantastic small little this is the combing pad coming up the port side small little niche right there you probably glue that the same thing pretty typical uh, areas especially on ski on ski boats uh, they grab fins they grab a little bit of everything especially since you store a lot of stuff down the starboard side uh, behind the driver's seat so they've only got one little guy right there those are things that should not really go anywhere a little little surface wound there on the on the plastic piece engine hatch is in good condition got a small little snag right there um, We'll get to the moji here in a second, uh, but this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, and this is kind of what you can see. Typically on the uh, seams, you'll see stuff like this happen. Um, now all of these seams are in really, really good condition. There aren't any tears right there. You do have some on the back here, uh, mainly because this is a this is a, this is actually ripped apart. So instead of making this one piece flowing up or two pieces slide in and it's in a straight down they threw us they threw a uh, uh, a seam in here with thread and as that gets wet and dries and wet and dry and and over time it just wears really uh, really hard and, and it does rip um, and as you can see that right there so this is probably a spot where somebody steps a lot and it just kind of pulls away um, at 560 hours if that's where that is more than likely you know, unless you're really really super tough on it uh, probably not a big issue probably not gonna go anywhere uh, but this is where I couldn't figure out if this has been revinyled or not because with if this has been revinyled and even those back on the back I can't believe that these would actually happen this looks like original vinyl which makes me kind of believe that the stuff on the back is actually original vinyl as well because all the colors are identical the life is all the same um, and you do have these cracks in here, so I'm, that, that kind of makes me believe that everything is original in the boat, and that's pretty awesome, because it has been really well maintained and taken care of. Um, <clears throat> this little guy opens up, walk through. I think it's a little bit of a mess underneath the uh, passenger flip-up bench, but we have a block of life jackets right there, which obviously can be, the jackets can be removed. Um, you do have a battery here, but you do have decent little storage up underneath there for dry goods. What is one thing that we did here is you can actually see a little bit of, uh, you know, this is all underneath storage. You never actually see this until you flip that up. But we actually mounted a battery selector switch right here. Give you a point of reference. There's the driver's seat, there's the steering wheel, and there's a the battery selector switch. Uh, we installed that here at the dealership um, when we got the boat in. 
and uh, it is very very nice to have that nobody has to get up and out of the way uh, which is awesome that's a user-friendly item right there <clears throat> before we get to the dash we'll go to the engine we are running the predator 310 horsepower it's a 5.7 liter it has been fully serviced um, oil change impeller fuel filter uh, and the, we actually have ran it for about five hours. We took it and and put it through its paces. Um, and so we know that it is good. It ran strong. Um, it did get a brand new uh, uh, ECM, I believe it was, the brain box. Uh, when we traded in, that was one thing that, that, uh, that needed to be done. So we ordered that in, put that in. Um, and and it is fantastic so it is dialed in ready to go uh, turnkey coming to the dash here I have it powered up but just left to right volts oil engine uh, miles per hour you're probably not gonna be able to see this but yeah 560.7 hours in person you can see it that's what really matters and there's the right speedo fuel gauge depth gauge clock radio uh, um, remote ignition and then your switches on both left and right hand side tower mounted mirror and then in the bow just a nice little open bow great for kids uh, or anybody that has no problem popping their feet up over the top but that's it's not huge I'm 5'9 5'10 and I'd be knees bent but one thing I have not discussed yet there's a snap-on cover and it's a two-piece and it has a road cover so um, what you have in fact it also has an air dam so you have these st snaps going straight down here there's a canvas air dam that goes in there you have uh, a uh, bow, bow cover that goes on, snaps on, snaps all the way around. And then you see these on the windshield, there's a full uh, cockpit cover. So you have, you have the bow and the cockpit cover snap in, and then there is an actual full size uh, uh, cover that goes with it. Um, I don't know if you want to it's more of a mooring cover but it does come with both those covers they're both yellow uh, the snap-in air dam is actually gray but uh, that's that's what we got oh one last little thing there's that little guy right down there so try not to miss but more questions on this or would like to schedule a demo uh, give us a call in the sales department uh, here at N3 Boltworks, 317-845-9253. That is 317-845-9253. Thanks. Talk to you soon.